yet another DJ Brew 2 Mix Great Cow 2. That's right, guys. You see the ingredients out, so you know what's up. It's time for DJ to make his missus another awesome mixed drink. And today, we're going to make a beer cocktail. Not a booze cocktail. I guess you could put some booze in this, too, if you wanted to kick it up a notch. But today, we're going to make a straightforward beer cocktail. And which one are we going to make? We're going to make a classic. We're going to make the Austro-German popular beer cocktail, the Radler, or Rattler, if you will. And I'm going to make a grapefruit version. Now, in Germany and Austria, beers with adjuncts in them like chocolate and fruit and things like that are not popular. They make straightforward beers, lager beers, pilsners, things of that sort. And um, they don't put the adjuncts in, but what they do is they make a lot of beer cocktails. Like they'll make Rattlers or they'll take a, like a Berliner Weitz and they'll put say raspberry syrup into it and make a beer cocktail that way. So they'll sweeten up the beers and give their, I guess, them a different twist on the you know, same old, same old. Anywho, so we got our ingredients in front of us. I've got everything pre-poured out, and let's get into this. So first, we're going to start out. We're going to make our own citrus or grapefruit soda. I say citrus or grapefruit soda. Why? Because in Germany, they use limes, they use lemons, they use grapefruit. I like the grapefruit. So we're using pink, fresh squeezed pink or ruby red grapefruit juice. Okay, we're going to pour this over a little bit of ice, four ounces of this into our tin. And then we've got two ounces of simple syrup, you know, 50-50 sugar to water mixture. So we're going to put this in there. So this is going to be our base for our soda. So what I do now, I like to do it this way. Some folks just stir, but I like to shake it up. That gets it really mixed in good. Remember, when you're shaking, you smile because you're doing something good. You're making somebody a drink. All right. So we've got that ready. Now, over the top, what I do here is I try to make it and open it up, and I make a mess, of course. <laughs> now I pour my soda in. There we go. We got six ounces of club soda. Now I pre-poured it to take down the fizz slightly. So I'm going to stir this now. Get it all nice and mixed up, mixed together. You don't need to stir it too hard. Okay, let's taste it. Spot on. Not too sweet, not too bitter. All right, so we put our top back on. Now, what I've got here is I've got some mason jars because they look cool that I've rimmed with sugar. So we're going to pour six ounces of our grapefruit soda into each of our jars. Mason jars are cool because they're already measured on the side. You can put exactly six ounces in each one. So we're going to pour this in nice and easy breezy as you can see. Bam, dead on six ounces right there. Okay, so now what do we do? Next step is super easy. We've got a lager beer today. Today I'm using um, Star Hill Star Lager. This is a uh, German style Pilsner, which I really enjoy. I support craft beer, so I'm by using an American craft beer here. So now we're going to gently pour our beer into our glass. This will be another six ounces of this. We'll do a 50-50 splitter on it. There we go. Pouring in, building up our loveliness here. That's right. Man, these look really cool in these jars. All right, we got our beer split 50-50 here. Now, we're going to garnish. Real simple garnish. We've got a couple of zested zests of grapefruit. We take all the pith out of the inside so it doesn't bitter up the drink too much. Drop a couple of those in each one. That looks pretty. We've got some grapefruit sort of wedges kind of here because that looks really awesome on our glass. We've got a couple of straws. Boom, one here and uh, one here. And there you have it, guys. Two freshly prepared Rattlers. This, you know, you could drink one of these by yourself if you wanted the whole thing, but it makes two great drinks, split 50-50. And let's take a taste of this because the proof is in the taste now, isn't it? Wow. That's awesome. Super refreshing. Not too bitter. Not too sweet. Dead on where you want it. So, if you guys, as you know, if you, you've missed any part of this, I always put the recipe down in the notes section for you guys to check out. So you know there's no guesswork involved in here. Easy breezy to make these drinks. You can drink it out of the straw or sip it through over the sugar, which I like to do too. Because you know what? This is a fun beer cocktail. It doesn't have to be straight up beer snobbery or anything like that. This is having a drink and having some fun. So to the next DJ's Brew Tube, remember, think locally, drink locally, support the craft beer and the craft cocktail movement. If you're going to have a rattler, make your own, and I bet you you're going to like it even better than a store-bought one. So, like I said, thanks a million to each and every one of you watching. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and hit that like button, because that puts my happy face on. And until then, I got nothing for you but a bunch of rattler drinking love and a big-ass what? Hell yeah! Puppy's out!